Hey, it's us. We're doing a thing again. Uh, it's almost like we do that on a regular basis. We used to do it it's on a regular basis. It's almost like we do that. That's the key word in that. Almost. We don't actually. And you can already tell who's playing. <laughs> a treasure chest. Can you? I uh, yes. <laughs> I guess I haven't asked what the controls are yet, so I guess it's not me. Well, also, we're just kind of going. You don't just kind of go when we start a video. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. But at this I, point, I Duncan... Gotta, I gotta bring the audience along on the journey. At this point, Duncan, this series is about the need for speed. It's almost been two years, and we've just crossed the halfway mark, I would say. Oh, Die already. Stereo Jeez, sound, talk. that's fun. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> the sound stereo. I, I like, vague... Oh, no. Is that a good thing? Or a bad thing? No, I just noticed it. Because, like... I can hear the stuff that's supposed to be playing on the left channel from, like, behind my ear. Ah! Everyone is at max health, Andrea. Need for speed! Fucking just slaps the auto-recover button in limbo forever. Why am I- Oh, wait, this to go doesn't have no clue. Why do I feel like it's louder than normal? I feel like it's, like, deafening me. You want me to turn it down? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, you resist physical! Ow! Resistance is futile unless it's from a physical attack. All enemies defeated. So, what are we doing? What's happening also? This video's been going on for three minutes, and... Um, I don't know. We're here making a video. It's episode... something. It's We're episode... 30-something. In... We're in... meme toes. Still. Completing whatever side quests, I guess. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's about as far as we've gotten so far. Yeah. Bonk. Uh, I've got yeah. Thou art thou and thou thou. Nope. Oh. Art. Stock is Ah. Let's get a room of Messiah Picro. <laughs> I just love that for this entire playthrough, Messiah's just been sitting in our back pocket. Okay. Exclusively for impatience reasons. Actually, I'm wondering if I set that as my lead, will that make the insta kill happen better? Somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> just bop some fools. I don't think it does. That's so sad. Oh well, I'm about to fuck these guys up. Oh wait, do we need you? We don't. Alright, get out of here. Sorry, did On just do more physical damage than Ryuji? Because that's embarrassing. Money. Money. <laughs> more money. More money. <laughs> See, if we'd been doing that this whole time, we would have bought that rock ages ago. <laughs> something else I wanted. The Velvet Room, that's it. That's what I wanted to do. Fuck! I didn't prep for that. I'm so glad you that you do that for us. I don't think I understand anything about how the Velvet Room works. <laughs> we can probably head down from here. Uh, Ding. Running around, going downtown, yeah. So how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm alright, you know, just living my... Well, I would say my best life, but that's not actually true. It's more yeah, like we just it. entered lockdown again, so... Well, yeah, there is that. I, I would say that a little date the video, except I said that when we first started talking about <laughs> COVID, and it's still happening. Yeah, no, that was the entire thing. You didn't want us to record this in batches at first, because you were like, it'll make it so dated. It's like... 
Yeah, I feel like that's, uh... It's actually being recorded on up. fucking June 16th, 2020. <laughs> And you can't actually tell the difference. I don't think Bad we've man talked is wearing about a suit. Therefore, he is evil. Have we ever talked about anything like recent? Genuinely? Anything recent? Has anything happened recently? I don't know. I don't like the shape of that creature. It makes me upset. <laughs> Would you rather be fighting that or Mara? Is that a sharpened horseshoe as a weapon? I think so. It looks like the most impractical weapon ever invented. I feel like I looked up if this had weaknesses. It, I did. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> loser. He's just got it. It's got shit on skull all the time. <laughs> you know, he's just like he's just trying. He's get... doing his best. Oh, on has which no is, health. Is, he's Oops. doing his best, which is better than you do pretty much all the time. Well, this they got this. knocked down, and they that won't get up he... again because they're gonna like, fucking well, die from this. Yay! <laughs> Stupid. I'm a victim too. Yoink. You're a victim of not being cool enough to hang <laughs> out the phantom thieves. Hmm. Let's keep going. We gotta get to the bottom of this, literally. Andrew, out of this crew, who do you think is the mo would be the most likely one to dab? Um, like, out Unir of the, un the, unironically. the entire Phantom Thieves crew, yes, or just this the party? Because the crew. answer is the same, Ryuji. <laughs> it's like, why did you bother asking? It's like, it's the first guy you recruit. <laughs> <laughs> I could also see Futaba dabbing, but she's not here right now. Oh, I can't. Oh! You can see her being out of touch enough to think that dabbing is something that people do unironically, <laughs> or ironically. Be like, oh, this just must be what people do. Dab. It's like Futaba now. What have you done? Well, she's also just kind of like a gremlin meme lord, you know? So. So, like you? No. You're a gremlin meme lord. I do unironically dab. <laughs> Not around me. Which is. Good. You've never seen me dab? Unironically, no. Oh, maybe I have just been dabbing ironically then. I don't know. I find dabbing funny. <laughs> My son, okay. I've seen him. It's a shadow. Let me get. Let me in! They didn't let me in. Oh, you got the bad music. Oh, thank you, Maraki. Fluff. We got the boost! We got the zoomies! We got the zoomies. I like that on still has no health. Oh yeah! Oops! And your persona, persona Nuzlocke, let's go. <laughs> I wouldn't even know- I don't even know how you would enforce that. You can't just uh, not you, have characters You play fight. on the hardest difficulty. And then, every time Joker dies, or every time a party member dies, you have to uh, release your currently equipped persona. Hmm. You can't buy them back. You, the only way to get more is to recruit them in battle, but you can't get doubles. I see. But well, we all know that the, real, that the real hardest challenge would be a Fire Emblem Nuzlocke. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Are you just realizing yes. now? <laughs> the juke. Don't bully me, I'm very dumb. I would like to invent a Persona 5 Royal Nuzlocke speedrun, but like, no one would care. That's not true, I guess. People might care a little bit. 
You know, game I really have been wanting to to play either as a stream or or, or as like a recording with you. I really wanting to play um, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Final Fantasy Tactics, just as a franchise, is something I've always wanted to play, and I've just never done it. Basically. Because when we when I had a way to play it, I was stupid and didn't understand how it worked, and that I couldn't play it anymore. <laughs> It just kind of feels like a game where being able to read probably helps. Reading is helpful. Ow. You just got punched. God, no! Leave me imagine, alone! Imagine trying to run somebody over, missing, and then having them punch your car over. <laughs> Guys. Guys. Garulamon. Can- can I- can I- Ah! You know what? I'm gonna take a gamble. Fuck this. I hate can't this. Let's go. Can't, can't escape from crossing a fate, Andrew. And this is why I hate the Hama skills. They're useless. Ugh. Thank you, Alan. I don't know how you did that, but I appreciate you. But yeah, I just... I've had I've got some big nostalgia for the game for the GBA game. It's just uh, that was one of my favorites growing up. Got some got some good music. I like the characters in the story. That's uh, it's a whole thing. A touch of red. That's not a touch. That's a pile of red. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I have like nostalgia for any games that are like actually good. You know. What's that? I'm trying to think if I have any nostalgia for games like from when I was a kid that were like actually good. Um, and I don't. <laughs> oh my god, what a trash panda. You played only bad games when you were a kid? How embarrassing. Look, you don't understand. One of my favorite games on the community Game Boy was a Dora the Explorer game that I don't remember the name of. I'm gonna go on a limb and say Dora the Explorer, insert subtitle here. How'd you know? <laughs> Hey, look, it's your boy. It's my boy, but I'm gonna finish. Wow, I can't believe you just ran over Hunter. There's a dedicated meow button? <laughs> Andrea was today years old when she learned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... You should do the meow as, as you run into somebody. I'm gonna just get all the stamps and shit I can find on this floor first, so I don't have to backtrack. Apparently you can fight uh, Jose as like a bonus boss, but I don't know how to do that. I want to find out though, because I want us to fight all five, I think, bonus bosses. We don't have a choice. Let's get them. I think there's five. If we want to count the DLC fights, because there's two DLC fights. And I have them. I've never done them, but I have them. We have a choice. Let's not go. <laughs> Jesus. Meh. That sound like Hunter. <laughs> Hello, son. Um. Yeah. Or should we double down on money? Uh, no, I love it. EXP is good. Bonk. Are, are you having fun? I'm having lots of fun. Jamming out to stuff uh. we gotta start like actually using these blank cards <laughs> sounds like a plan Okay, bye, son. Be sure to eat your lunch. I thought, for some reason, I thought you were going to say eat your laundry. <laughs> <laughs> They've spotted us. Let's get out of our car and make them vanish from existence. <laughs> because that's how that works. Oh, the end! It's the end of this area as we know it. Yeah, and I don't think we can go through here until the cleanse actually happens. 
Yeah. No, I got it. Okay, I got it. It ain't gonna open, boys. Time to go back to the surface. So, I, should we take care of the Velvet Room Confidant while we're here? Should we just do that today? I mean, you may as well. Okay, hold up. I'll just do uh, no, not that. I wanna... Quick, before we get poisoned. Okay, by yeah, the no, music. we'll 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 have the money for it. Yeah, actually, let's. Oh, I gotta shut this down first. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't just. Does it have to stay in the transition screen? There we go. We will... Uh, look, I don't. I don't want this alarm. Can I turn it off, please? Why are um, they stop the alarm? <laughs> They're doing little exercises. Oh, I thought they were like, I thought someone like tied them together. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> okay, hold on. We gotta pull up some stuff. Are you okay? Yes. Why? I was just wondering why you seem to be struggling with the towel. I'm not. Okay. Okay. So we need ah. two things that we need. Person number five. That. And we need. Power line. Do. Deep. Do. 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 Pusha Kokoratora. Okay, so. Ooh, that's super readable. Okay, that's better. Okay, we got, we got the important shit down. It's over here, so we can actually look at it. Hooray. So, what rank are we? We're probably at like rank two or some shit like that. Let's do it. No. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's save and quit. Thanks for showing up, everybody. Oh, ew, we're at rank one. Oh yeah, I didn't. I, I was pretty sure we had never touched this shit. <laughs> uh, what? What do you guys want me to defuse first? Um. I'm gonna lose my with Frey. Okay, so we do that. Level 5 Kate's. I would like to not use a skill card because we don't have a skill card. So, we gotta, we gotta make and make some shit to free up inventory. Use. Use. No. Yes. Time for some you wish fusion. You wish to fusion? You yes. wish I do wish to fusion. Uh fuse this. That's You'll new. Pay the gift. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Gain new power? <laughs> I see. I don't think it's going to be just like. Uh. Do we just like. <laughs> should we just like cut, cut all of this? Or like. It's just uh. I feel like you got a lot of stuff going on that's not terribly interesting to watch. Uh -huh. I mean, we could talk about stuff. <laughs> like, uh, what do you want to talk about? Uh, I don't know. You've seen any good movies recently. <laughs> you saw Encanto. I also saw Encanto. Wow. Oh my god. There we go. Now we dated the video. <laughs> it was alright. I liked it. Yeah. I. I still say, for Disney, it's really, really good. Because, like... 
don't know if you noticed, Disney kind of doesn't do a lot of good stuff a lot. They At are, least uh... recently, they kind of haven't been. <laughs> no, they really don't. They're very, um, they're very McDonald's these days. Very <laughs> McDonald's. You want something that's delivered to you reliably and consistently? That is completely serviceable, but never exceptional? Go to Disney. Or McDonald's. Depends on whether you're hungry or just bored. Yeah. Sometimes if you're hungry and bored, McDonald's. Get both. Yeah, you get both. You can get a McDonald's Happy Meal. I don't know why, but there was so something just shot down my spine when I thought about eating McDonald's while watching Disney. That made me kind <laughs> of upset on like a a level that I didn't know was possible. <laughs> you know what else we watched like recently? What? The Incredible. We did. We did also watch that recently. And that's way better than okay. That's a pretty good movie right there. It is a pretty good movie. It will like, I'm gonna be real, I didn't get it at first, but that's because the last time I saw The Incredibles was when I was like four. It's kind of hard to get The Incredibles when you're four. Yeah. Like, here's the thing, right? What's the thing? I don't- I've mentioned this before, I think, but I don't like people who say that Pixar movies are not for kids. You okay with this? It just makes me really angry. <laughs> who is saying that Pixar movies aren't for kids? Like, like as in they are not intended to be watched by children. Who is saying that? I don't know. It's just like- it's been like a recurring theme recently, especially with ones that have like deeper meanings. Like specifically stuff like The Incredibles or Soul. It's like, yeah, this one's really not for- for children. It's- it's more of a grown-up movie. It's like, shut up, mate. I've never felt that in my life. I felt that- I have- I have argued that the better Pixar movies are movies that can be enjoyed by both children and adults, who enjoy them for different reasons. Or they, are, or they are watchable by both because they have, you know, a, 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 just a universally enjoyable messenger story. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, that's totally a thing that happens in Pixar movies. I haven't seen Soul, so I can't tell you whether or not it is definitively an adult movie. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't know of anyone who's actually saying that, so I can't really... I'm arguing against the straw man, as far as I'm concerned. So I can't- I'm not really gonna make any bold claims about these people that may or may not exist. But I- I'm- That, that has never been an opinion that I have held. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. Just- what, what even was that? We have not fused a single Sun Arcana persona this entire game. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? It's funny, uh, cause now I need to figure out what the fuck I need to, to fuse a Suzaku. All right. Well, you would do you do that? Yeah, I know. You keep talking about movies. Uh. Yeah. No. I mean, I would say that The Incredibles does hit differently between childhood and adulthood. Like, there are definitely some like more mature themes going on with uh, The Incredibles, but there's also still plenty of love for little kitties. I certainly loved it when I was a kid. Yeah. Cause like. I guess, again, my biggest problem wasn't that I was a kid. My biggest problem is I was four. That's barely a child. <laughs> that's, that's just literally too young to watch movies. I think I watched one of the Terminator movies when I was, like, four. I watched a lot of movies when I was a kid, but... Well, I think we also just used to watch a lot more movies when I was, like, a baby. Your dad was a big movie guy. Yeah. I was a big time fan of I do. the movie theater. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Draining mouth, ew. <laughs> um. But yeah, movies do be good. Now we gotta, now we gotta get ourselves caught up on uh, Mr. Wally, the other, uh, the other Pixar Golden Boy everyone loves to talk about. Oh yeah. I, I say that as like I haven't seen it. Like I mean, I've seen it. I've, I'm pretty sure I've seen Wally for school a couple times, but I've also seen the Lorax for school at least once. So that means nothing. Yeah, 
Uh, it's okay. I watched uh, Core for school, so... What's Core? The core is uh, just a movie when they're in, like, a special, like, tunneling machine to, like, dig to the center of the Earth to, to detonate a nuclear bomb Is that not it. just Journey to the Center of the Earth? No. Oh. No, it's not. Oh. At all. Oh. <laughs> Basically, the Earth's core has stopped turning, and so the magnetic field is gone. And so it's like creating a hole in the ozone layer, so they have to blow up the core of the Earth with a nuke in order <laughs> to get it going again. Well, not a nuke, a series of nukes. <laughs> will be blown up in a successive order in order to restart the planet's core. That's kind of hilarious. I kind of love that. Yeah, you obviously didn't have my geography teacher, because apparently he taught it to- apparently he showed it to everybody. <laughs> it's like, ah, you know, it's, um, got the planet in it, therefore it's- It's got the planet. It's got Earth in it, therefore it's geography. geography. <laughs> Mate, a history teacher showing history of the entire world, I guess, sounds more educational. It is, significantly. I tried to get our history teacher to show that to us. In, uh, I think grade, either grade 10 or 11. Can you gather them up? Uh, what did they think? Uh, they he said no. <laughs> did he even watch it or he's just like, stop trying to tell me how to do my curriculum? I don't know. <laughs> History of the entire world. Yeah, well, it's, um, that exists for sure. Hey. What? I have, what? I have the thing. Yeah, I did. Are we best friends now? Very well. Huh. So you think that like under their eye patch it is just just like a hole? I I think so actually. That's kind of fucking weird. <laughs> You know? <laughs> They're a lot harder to teleport when they don't talk. What do you mean? Well, I, I, I don't know which name belongs to which, or which hairstyle belongs to which, so when they aren't, when I can't hear their voices, I don't know which fucking one's talking. <laughs> you know, I know one of them is like... fucking Rosalina, and the other one's basically just, like... angry. <laughs> like, like, angry Daisy. <laughs> It's my favorite Mario duo. Yeah, it's like it's like we got Rosalina and we got like PMS Daisy. <laughs> it's, okay, that's, uh... that's that that's how I compare these two characters. <laughs> okay, so do, 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 do. we need Bareth, which I know we have. We need Orbas, which is actually up here. Or is it? Where's Orbas? Why are you not listening the listening the Arcana? That's so rude. This is another thing I've just never used. Can you please sort it in any other way? Sort of my Arcana. Uh, is our last mathematician? What the fuck is it? What'd they change it to? Henry, no. Yeah. I can't believe it. Why is it? Are they all Hierophant? They might all just be Hierophant. Hierophant. Uh, what no, have I done? I don't know. You're the one with the controller. I'm just here talking oh, about the Incredibles. The, I, yo, the animization. Oh, you can look at that. That's actually cool. Hero Nakamura? Is this a fee is required? Is this a persona? Elagor. Is Elagor also, also, also Hierophant? No. What's Elagor? Elagor for what? Stop! <laughs> I'll just sort of my ABC. Fuck this. Allegorous. We don't have I thought I saw Kung Fu Panda on there. I was just like, please give me my Jack Black Panda. <laughs> Allegor's Emperor. Okay, what do we need? Angel and Jack Lantern. Goo goo! Goo goo! Man, we re should really start doing some 
some story progress because we're running behind real bad. And then Andrew was like, well, we should probably do this. Well, we d here's the thing, right? We want... Man, we're really slacking over here, too. We want to get 100%, or at least as close as we're gonna get. And this is just a necessary step. I don't care, dude. Do whatever you want. You will receive my what? Your what? <laughs> what are we receiving? I need an adult. Oh, no. Double fangs? Which one of those has the fangs? <laughs> it's a knight on a horse. <laughs> Horses. The horse. Wait, what did it need? Fanged horse. I oh hate God. it. What is that fucking thing? At least that has fangs. <laughs> Which part of it is it? Is the head, the cat face in the middle of its chest with the weird sword thing hanging on the top of the? It's a sword. Look, there's its face right there. Oh God, it's it, it, that that is its mouth. It's moving. You think? Necro Shogun. What? I. W <laughs> I wish I could, like, communicate at its shrine better, because if, if I had my way, I'd just speed up this entire section with the Persona Poker rap playing over it. <laughs> Charmeleon! That's all! <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking, Baka. <laughs> hey, inmate. Yes. Stop talking. Can't you tell we're trying to have a conversation between the two of us? Well, you're in that's earshot. Why, that's why we're having... That's why this is a confidant. It's confidential. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Uh, so next is Phoenix with Counter. Farewell. Phoenix with Counter. <laughs> Farewell. How's it? How of it? Your turn, <laughs> shit! I hope we're not merging shit. That would be unpleasant. What? So I hope we're not moving, merging shit. Uh, does our Gaxony have counter? It does! We don't even need to worry about that step. Uh, Mrs. Andrea. <laughs> do 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 do. Sand me a man. Where? Why does this keep happening to me? I don't know, Andrea. Why do we not Can have, like, any early game persona? I don't know. Do I look like a man who collects personas? You look like someone who's had an idiot breathing down their neck to collect personas. Okay. What's Mandrake? Death? I think. And then we didn't have Mandrake either, because fuck you. Sadama? Sadama Hussein? No. Damn straight! It will receive... I see. It will receive I see something. I see wiener? <laughs> That's something else we've been watching recently. Yes, we have also been watching Futurama. 
It's been a lot of fun. It has been a lot, been of, a lot of fun. It's a real good show. It is a real good show. It was made with the good funnies. <laughs> the good funnies, as opposed to the bad funnies. There are lots of bad funnies out there. Don't pretend. <laughs> there, don't pretend there aren't. Also, something mildly interesting that I found out uh, literally yesterday okay. is um, fucking Katie Seagal. Is that her name? Uh, yeah. Yeah, before she was in Futurama, she was in Recess. <laughs> or maybe during. I guess technically before, because Recess started sooner. Which feels wrong to say. Well, yeah, she, she was in a lot of things. Uh, she was in DCOM Smart House. <laughs> what? <laughs> she was in the Disney Channel original movie Smart House as the Smart House. She was in a sitcom too. I was like, was, was that Mary with Children? Was a different show. I can't remember. I don't know. But I think that she was like the mom in that huh. one of them sitcoms, eighties or nineties sitcom. She's been around for a while. Yeah. She's done a lot of stuff. Um, what were we gonna say? What about say Casey Oh, she just... she just plays Spinelli's mom in Recess, and I didn't realize that until like just yesterday. <laughs> I don't even I can't I don't even know that character in my head like uh, I I don't I don't recall. Well, you see the secret to knowing what what she's like is um just picture what Katie Seagal sounds like and now you've got her voice, <laughs> because Katie Seagal does not have a very flexible voice. She's she's good at her job. She's just not that flexible. <laughs> um. I think, also, I think it's a characteristic of somebody who started off in, like, regular acting. And, and then just and, went to and, voice and acting. She's like, yeah, I'm just me. It's fine. I never really developed the... It was me. ...the skill. I just, it was me. Oh, fuck. Just doing my thing. Fucked it up. Now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. I also just wanted to see what the, the record time is being. Um, also... Recess started in 1996? <laughs> That sounds about right. Maybe I knew, I knew it was one of those things where like it was older than it, than you would expect it to be. Yeah, I just I guess in my head it never seemed like that because I just thought it was just kind of existing. It has. It was. It never started. It's just been there since the dawn of <laughs> well, time. Well, that's, that's not what I mean. What I mean is like before Disney even came into existence, the Recess was there waiting for it. <laughs> The threat. Um, no, I guess what I mean is, like, I could... I think as a kid, I just thought it was just going when I was watching it. I didn't realize it got rerun for over a decade. Oh, yeah. I see that. Re Reruns, all right. It was a very popular show. It's good. <laughs> it's a good show. Uh, like... I just, I like it. I like Recess so much. I think it's possible it's probably like one of my favorite shows from growing up. And maybe even now, because a lot of shows now aren't that great. Yeah. Or I guess it's a matter of, like, they just focus on different things that I don't think they should be focusing on. At least not all of you them. You mean, like, characters? I <laughs> see. Uh, no, like, the super cool narrative that everyone loves and cares about and no one will get bored by. Especially when they think they're just walking into a fun slice-of-life comedy and, oops, here's a deep lore plot. It's like, man... I was really hoping for that slice of life comedy, buddy. Yeah, well. I guess we can blame. I don't know. What do you think is more at fault there? Is that more of an Avatar problem or more of an Adventure Time problem? I think it's more of an Avatar problem because Avatar did it and then everyone and their dad was like, no, Avatar is so smart and good because it's got an ongoing narrative. And then Adventure Time. Adventure Time well, is. I mean... I feel like you're simplifying the arguments. Like it's not just because it has continuity. Like well, that's the like you thing can't just say like everyone... every cartoon that has continuity is bad. Like, no, I mean, but like, like 
Avatar was the catalyst for deeper storylines and stuff. And then uh, Adventure Time, well, I think, was were... the catalyst for the whiplash problem, because that's where that started. I feel like Avatar was like the thing where it's like, you know, they had a show that was popular amongst both children and adults, and that made people go like, cartoons are for grown-ups too. But now that's all cartoons are for is yeah. the, is like the twenty six year olds that never stopped watching cartoons when they when they got older and they needed something. I don't know. I guess they felt like they needed some something substantial from their animations to to justify their interests. When I think in reality most of it can be attributed to they just didn't feel like moving on to new material. Yeah. And then, like I say, but I'm not saying that that can be. That you can apply that to every cartoon, and not even all the 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 cartoons that have got their you know if they've got continuity. It's just it's just a thing that just happened a lot. Yeah. And I think it has more to do with the way people interact with media now than like than anything else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I think the what it came down to is, um, before, it used to be like, you market everything towards kids and make everything super kid-friendly, because kids can make their parents buy them any buy anything. So they're yeah. a great market for advertising. But then they realized, all of a sudden, that this generation of, like, 20 and 30-year-olds that grew up watching sort of, like, premium cartoons, quote-unquote... <clears throat> They are now have jobs and have lives, and some have kids even, uh, and, and they can now be a primary market unto themselves rather than having to prey on their adults sec on the second hand. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that is that is what has largely led the charge into this new generation of mature cartoons, quote unquote. Yeah. And sometimes it goes well. And sometimes it just kind of wears itself out. Like, uh, hi! Uh... What were we talking about? We're talking about cartoons. Well, yeah, but specifically, uh... We're talking about, like, you know, car the mature, you know mature cartoons and, uh. and what worked and what didn't. Okay. Um... Yeah, no, because, like, my big thing is, like, because they just don't make shows like Recess or The Weekenders anymore. Things aren't allowed to just be chill. Yeah, and it's like, and like I said, I don't want to write off the formula entirely because it's yeah. like there are perf there are plenty of examples where that um, that that format that you're claiming not to like works out. Like, hey, Avatar works out pretty well. It's a pretty good show. Yeah. Well, again, my um, biggest problem isn't the fact that it exists. It's the whiplash. Because people keep changing their minds in the middle of their show, and it's annoying. Yeah. Like, the the best example off the top of my head, because it's always the best example I can think of off the top of my head for bad writing, is uh, Steven Universe. I had a feeling that was going to come up at some point in this conversation. <laughs> Steven Universe is the epitome of a lot of the bad things that have happened with TV lately. It wasn't the catalyst, but it's, like, a pretty egregious example. Mm -hmm. But, like, so Steven Universe has five seasons... And a spinoff that I'm not going to acknowledge because it's it's not that good. But, uh, it starts as, like, your regular Monster of the Week slice of life with, like, maybe the occasional boring episode. But whatever, that's just what it is. And then sometimes you get, like, little story arcs, and those are great, too. 
And then we're in a war. Just completely. And except we're not in a war completely because we forget about the war sometimes to still go back to our goofy slice of life episodes. Well, so it's like, it's like I feel, yeah, I feel like Steven Universe had the had the real problem where they 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 had uh, there were a lot of problems with Steven Universe. Yeah, <laughs> production wise, writing wise. Uh, but like, I feel like one of the big problems with them is that they couldn't decide like what they wanted to do. do them both. It's like it's like, are we gonna have a super serious narrative that? does a deep dive on these deeply flawed characters and addresses the, the, the real world consequences of things that are happening war. in the world and war and stuff or are we gonna have second super shit post meme goofy li life stuff and then know, they went just, and then they did let's do, do them both let's do both and see how that works and it didn't yeah I mean, one of my biggest issues with Steven Universe is they looked at the space Nazis and went, Yeah, but look how sad they are! <laughs> yeah, they had real problems with character. That is, um... I feel like Steven Universe is a character vacuum. It's just like... <laughs> it's like a character singularity. It's just like... It's like, how can we make it so that these characters are as horribly unlikable as possible. <laughs> it's like, we're gonna let Garnet be okay as long as she's together. Don't let her separate. She gets weird when she's apart. I actually really love Ruby and Sapphire. But it's just like, keep her together and we're okay. Everyone else is all fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, no, R Ruby and Sapphire are like the only yeah. actually consistently good characters, and I think that's because they never show up, because we like the euphemism of fusion rather than actually writing our gay couple. <laughs> hey, you know what another one of my big problems with Steven Universe is that no one likes talking about? Oh boy. This will This will be my last one for now, I promise. <laughs> what else about Steven Universe bothers you? Uh, all of Lapis. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> She was pretty good at first, and then Rebecca Sugar said that she wanted that she, Lapis's point was that she was supposed to be an abuse victim, and then Lapis wasn't the the victim in the the so-called abusive relationship. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Isn't it? Isn't that? Isn't that great when you have a, when you totally misplace your uh, your 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 victim? Yeah. Also, I just misread Justine's name as Jug Time. <laughs> oh no. Not a My Christian <laughs> Persona 5 <laughs> Let's Play. But no. Anyway, back to good shows. Uh, like which ones? Like Recess! I could talk uh, about Recess uh, forever, uh, dude. Well, tell me more about Recess. Let's... Fill a time slot with that. Uh, so here's a big thing about Recess that shouldn't be of note, but it is. The cast likes each other. That's nice. Isn't that it nice? It is nice. Isn't I just, that nice when main characters get along? I just like watching them hang out and stuff, you know? When they're not, it's, it's great when they're not like total sociopaths that either intentionally or otherwise take actions that border on ruining their lives yeah. each other's lives. Like, here's the thing. Here's and the th it's not like a comedy, like in Futurama, where they do that kind of thing plenty, but it's funny. Yeah. Because it's like, done on purpose. <laughs> like, here's the thing about Recess. The important thing about Recess, to me, is that it the show remembers that its cast is children. So it acts like it. And I mean this in the nice way. Also, I had, like, a bit of an epiphany moment when I was watching Recess last year, because I was telling Mom about it, and she was like, yeah, the show with, like, the little kids, right? And I was like, I don't know, they're, like, fourth grade. And she was like, yeah, the little kids, right? And then I had, an, I had a realization when I remembered that all of the kids in Recess are under ten years old. Yep. I was pretty sure, like, Mikey like, is, like, the first one to turn ten. Yeah, it's, like, it's like an episode about it, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it just, it feels like it respects kids and the things that are important to them. Although I will say, I get, like, 
secondhand cringe whenever I see Spinelli be herself because I very distinctly remember I tried to project onto Spinelli so fucking hard when I was seven. And so I'm just like, oh, I know you're the fan favorite, but I can't, dude. So, uh, well, you know, that's her. Uh, that's... She's, got, she's got that tomboy energy of like, oh boy, I sure don't like girly things. <laughs> Yeah, no, but even this like beyond hats, <laughs> boots, and punching things. Yeah, no, even beyond that, I think like my desperate attempt to mirror Spinelli like made me really, really aggressive in like elementary and middle school until I stopped doing that. So it was just it was just a whole thing, and now I'm past that. Andrew was like at the ripe old age of nineteen, was like, you know what? Pink is all right. I'm gonna put some pink in my room. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. It's a nice, just chill color. It is. <laughs> like on one hand, if I could, I'd take seven-year-old me and be like, slap, slap, slap. Get your shit together. It doesn't oh, matter. Oh, but who, on the other who hand, who wouldn't slap their seven-year-old selves? The only seven-year-old <laughs> you're allowed to beat up and bully is your own, your own seven-year-old self. Everyone suck when they were seven. We're just not allowed to tell each other that they suck when they're seven. We have to wait until we're adults and be like, ah, oh, fuck, I suck when I was seven. Let us begin. But yeah. But also, I feel like if I didn't, I would never have that big, like, oh moment, you know? Mm -hmm. Although, and maybe this is just how, because of how the main cast went. The only actual gripe I have with Recess is that it had, like, this thing against just uh femininity but maybe that's just me mostly because and the only reason i say this at all is just because the ashleys are very commonly villainized but that might also be because they suck so anything is possible well i suppose i suppose tomboyism was very in vogue in the 90s yeah so it was a very like emerging art form kind of thing <laughs> I think we, I don't think we really quite nailed the uh, girls can be girls, but also like boy things, like architecture until, like, until like the twenty tens kind of thing. You know? Yeah. Oh God, actually, uh, this just reminds me of one of the episodes I saw yesterday that I actually really like, which kind of handles the whole like girly thing versus non girly thing. But basically, uh, after Cheek continues being aggressive to anyone and everyone. Uh, Spinelli's mom and forces her to enroll in dance class to just kind of get her extra energy out, right? Uh, and at first she's just like, Ugh! you know, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. But it turns out Mikey's also enrolled in this dance class and he's just kind of working as the stage manager because even though he really, really wants to be able to perform, he can't because all of his performance parts are partners are kind of fragile because they're little girls so they get a whole routine done together and it's really sweet to watch and sure you got the whole thing where like Spinelli's like no I can't do it because you know the entire class is gonna watch their performance but then she realizes how much the whole thing means to Mikey and she's like fine I'll do it whatever let's go and I, I just like it it's just nice just doing your boy a bit of favor you know yeah you got your, and it's supposed to, you know, it's good, um, it's a good pairing, too. It's like, you got the, like, you got the boyish girl, and you got the, you know, somewhat feminine boy, you know. So it's like, yeah, you know, it's like, that's a good sort of dichotomy. It was a good, good, good chemistry. It is good chemistry. Also, like... Here's the thing with recess, and I feel like this is just a stereotypical thing that happens with cartoons, especially nowadays, with the people who watch it getting, like, overly attached to a random side character rather than the main cast. But, like, I really love both the side characters and the main cast. Oh, yeah, no, that was, like, the show was, like, peak supporting characters, you know, you got... You got Oh, you, got, you, got, you got your King Bob, you got your Hustler kid, you got the Swinger kid, you got the Digger kids, you got the, the, the teaching staff, you know, yeah. you, got, you got all kinds of crazy characters in there. 
My only problem in this regard is my favorite side character is one that almost never shows up, but it's gotten to the point where wherever I see Butch, I literally audibly cheer because he gets to speak for once. Also, like, even, like, the bully characters were fun, you know? I feel like bully characters don't usually get to be fun. But, like, Lawson is very dumb, and I appreciate that so much. Uh, oh, Lawson. Shut up. Hmm. I grabbed that thing. It's fine. It doesn't have to be found. Oh, okay. Ugh. There's also a, a really good line from, from Randall in an episode I watched earlier today. Basically, the plot for the episode is that someone's been spreading a rumor about Mikey that's so, that he pushed someone into the girls' washroom, right? Uh -huh. So they go to Randall, because someone heard it from him. And Randall says, and I quote, it's like, I'm a snitch! If I went around spreading- if I went around making rumors, it would ruin my credibility! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, this is what I'm here for. Yeah. Okay, so we don't have any more money, so this is the farthest we can go, but that's fine. No slacking off. Also, the diggers aren't related. Really? I actually, yeah! I actually didn't know that. I, I didn't know that either! <laughs> I thought they were twins. Yeah! <laughs> so it just... <laughs> it's just kind of bananas to me. I just... It's like, you know, it's like they just meet each other one day and they're just like, okay, so here's what's gonna go on. We're gonna dress identically and we're gonna spend every minute of recess together all the time <laughs> doing the same thing every day. It's like, sounds like a plan, friend. <laughs> well, that sure was an episode. Should of... we do, like, another day or two so it doesn't feel like nothing happened? Uh, I mean... We could. Okay, let's do that. Um, let's make some lockpicks, because we don't have any okay. lockpicks at all. I feel like Persona 5 is one of those things that just occasionally turns into our... <laughs> our, uh, just, just cartoon podcast. Why are you yeah. sitting like that? It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Hunter sits like that sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but Hunter isn't, like, you know... Like, doesn't have like a humanoid personality. He's just like, look at my genitals. <laughs> look at them. He's like, no, don't do it. <laughs> uh, who else was like super notable in recess? Because I we we've like we've briefly acknowledged King Bob's existence. Who like is really good actually. King Bob is the most, and I don't think I realized that because when I was little, a lot of my recess outlet was or VHS. Which had two episodes on it. One of them wasn't even an episode. It was it was a movie, I think. I don't know if it was... Was Taking the Fifth Grade considered a movie or a special? Um... I think Taking the Fifth Grade was like a special. Because it was like a series of stories. Oh, yeah. Whereas they had like the like the Schools Out one. Which was a movie. Because yeah. it was the end of fourth grade. I've never seen Schools Out, by the way. Fizz does this whole thing where, like, whenever they hear that I talk about recess, like, they're like, oh, have you seen recess school's out? I think that might be the only thing they think it has. But it's like, I've never seen it. Everyone talks about it. I've never seen it. Maybe I should. But no, I just, I never really got enough of the King Bob vibes because I my biggest watch was the special where he leaves and that's, like, one of the main plots. <laughs> Is yeah. that he's not there. <laughs> yeah. I like I, I do like his replacement though, who's yeah, just like Freddy, I think. Yeah, King Freddy. You know, and, and it's just like he's like he's like this he's like this kid committed a minor infraction. What do we do? We're gonna have him tied up or limb for limb, dragged across the playground, and then buried in the sand pit. <laughs> and he's just like, well, that seems a little harsh. He's like, Okay, fine, he gets a ten minute timeout in the corner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, he's like, he's like really vindictive, but also not like, <laughs> not at all like, he has no like backbone. It's like, yeah, they just, talk him out of it immediately. They, they were like, okay, it's King Bob, right? So what's like the opposite while still being the most? And that's what they did. There you go. Also, um, okay. So I have another episode I want to talk about specifically. Do you remember the Womps episode? 
Oh yes, the wants. You know, the one where TJ gets taken to court <laughs> over a word he made up. Over a word he made up. I oh, just, yeah. I, I just, it goes. I forget the agent's name, but he's 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 great. Yeah. I, like him. I just, it's 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 so good. It's so good. <laughs> and when they finally get to the point where they're just like, "What? The, what are we here for exactly?" <laughs> yeah. Is just like, it's like, what did what did he actually say? Is it like, uh, the word was "womps," sir. It's like that's a stupid word. You're free to go. <laughs> it's, it's just, he's just like, what? Duncan, we're almost there. We almost have a best friend after six months. <laughs> It's been four. I can't count. Help. Sorry, what happened? How... We're at rank nine with Ryuji. We're almost best friends. Yay! All you have to do is feed him and say nice things, and he'll be your best friend forever. <laughs> also, so, like, there's an episode where the Ashleys, as, like, petty revenge, they, uh, they, they throw Spinelli into a beauty pageant. Uh -huh. And Vince just inexplicably becomes, like, Spinelli's pageant mom. <laughs> <laughs> and also, he can walk in it's heels like, with like zero his, issue. It's his, he's, yeah, he's like the manager. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Vince, are you living vicariously through Spinelli? <laughs> Would you like to be the beauty pageant queen? <laughs> this is the part where we find out that Vince has actually been transgender the entire time, and it was just never... <laughs> don't, just, they just never got into it. Uh, who wants to actually talk to me? Who's lying about wanting to talk to me? Fumi's lying about wanting to talk to me. We could also see, oh yeah, but like... Oh yeah. Nah. Oh, this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> we have to still be friends with him. Mishmash. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> I guess my overall favorite thing about it is just the idea of just mundane blacktop stuff being treated as like the most serious business ever, you know? Well, it's like it's, it's like I think the idea is that it's supposed to be like, essentially they're like mimicking like real world adult society, but in like a microcosm yeah. of like the re of of the children's playground. And I love that so much. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. It gives them it gives them license to address like random topics of like you know uh, of, of some uh, you know so like sociological importance but then also just do like make random kid jokes too yeah it's great it's fun like uh like like how there's like an entire week of torrential rain which means like no recess and literally everyone just starts going fucking insane <laughs> yeah. but she's like I, I warned you this happened before i warned you i told you the stories I I love Butch. I love him so much. <laughs> the biggest problem is he's voiced by Kath Susie, so every time I hear Kath Susie in her extremely identifiable voice voice, I'm like, is that the boy? It's not the boy, it's just a random background character. <laughs> the, um, remember when they remember when they reinvent recess? Oh, which one was that? The one they like decided to ban recess. Uh. Because, uh, to improve, like, test scores. Yeah, and then everyone just dies. Everyone just, like, is just, like, emotionally dead forever. And then they, they reinvent it as Rekus. <laughs> <laughs> Rekus has begun. <laughs> it's like, fun. I remember fun. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've died to that one yet. If I did, it was from, like, last year. So, oh, God. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a good one. Uh, what one that I that I like I remember super sharply, which I don't know how well I can say because I watched it yesterday. But like something one that I remembered even before that was uh, the principal for a day episode. Oh yeah. Where it's like 
Principal Prickly's <laughs> like, we are going to break him. So they try to just break TJ by making him principal for a day. Because Menlo was inexplicably the most troublemaking school on the playground until they made him principal for a day. And then they, yeah, and then he became like a total, like, like teacher's pet yeah. character. Yeah. yeah. And then he became like really, like, like power hungry, you know, so he's just a total asshole. He's like, oh no. <laughs> it's like, what have we done? But then that was all just a prank. School staff got right. pranked. I like the, um, I really like the episode where, um, uh, there's that, that, there's that, there's that movie that I want to go see. But the principal doesn't want him to, to do the field trip, so he like forces him to stay back, and so it, and so TJ challenges him to like a tri like like a trivia contest or something. <laughs> it turns out he's like See you later. that he's like a, like a total like a golden age fanboy of that <laughs> of that uh, of that of that character's franchise. Oh yeah, <laughs> and um, and eventually like they do a thing where it's like. Um, it's a, it's a, he asks him a question about like a golden age stuff that he doesn't really know very well, and he gets the question right, but he mispronounces one of the one of the supporting characters' names, and he and principal is like, "Nah, you got it wrong. You said the name wrong." <laughs> and he's like, "Well, that's kind of crappy." But then, just at the last minute, principal's like, "Okay, fine. You got the question right. We can go on the field trip." <laughs> yeah, it was like it was kind of it was, it was a yeah. good moment. I like principal Prickly. He's a, he's all right. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say one of their favorite episodes is um is the one where Miss Vincer's like babysitting Spinelli for the weekend. Oh uh, yes, yes. It's torture. She just does old lady stuff. <laughs> they go, they go to save her, and and, and, and they're doing a little while. Yeah, it's <laughs> just like <laughs> we will never speak of this ever again. <laughs> and they didn't. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, uh, good stuff. Yeah. I, I, like, I, I feel like as a kid, I really wanted to be Spinelli, but now that five I, men. but now that I'm, like, an adult, I'm just like, man, I wish I was TJ as a kid. <laughs> I wish that's who I was as a kid. <laughs> yeah. Very well. Well done. We all know TJ was the real cool guy. TJ was the real cool guy. I mean, I feel Is like. Is it just me, or did both like? I might be. I might just be having like an old man brain problem. All right, what's so, up? Like, didn't they? Didn't um, recess and like the weekenders basically have like the same episode, where like the main character was found one person they didn't like and tried to figure yes. out why. <laughs> no, this is why, yes. Why they didn't like him? <laughs> yeah. No, I I remember like the the weekenders one, like a lot more specifically, but I remember the Recess one because everyone talks about it because it's really weird for Recess. Like, even my worst enemy likes me. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, the, the reason a lot of people had issue with it was because they thought, like, an alternate way to take the ace off was it's fine to like people for no good reason. But, like, I don't know. I... I haven't seen it because I don't think it's come up yet. But also, if I recall correctly, there's a part where Gordy nearly fucking dies from an allergic reaction because he's got a peanut allergy and it is implicitly TJ's fault. So I don't know. I think that's grounds to not like someone. <laughs> anyway, we're hanging out with Yusuke. That's how you know it's going to be a fun time. Look at all the ducks that aren't on screen right now. They're so <laughs> cute. Are we the duck? Is Yusuke, Cock. Is Yusuke his duck? Is, is this a mallard? <laughs> Does Yusuke his duck? Does Yusuke his mallard? <laughs> the burning... Wait, what? He's talking about the burning passion between man and woman? Yeah. What the fuck kind of deviant art shit is he getting up to? <laughs> <laughs> Draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Poses on boat, falls into lake. Oh, 
don't compare to Adam and Eve. Eve was made out of like a rib bone or something. <laughs> Okay, shut your mouth, boy. <laughs> Return to your... I must capture your profile. It's like, hey, buddy, that's like fucking weird, okay? <laughs> I shall rejoice your beautiful... <laughs> you know, no, I can't read. You can do it, I no, believe in you. No, <laughs> I'm not going to. It's too Thomas Rocker, come on, let's report him. It's like, this, this like, was like... It's like, it's just like, did this man take a photograph of you? It's like, well, no, not really. In a weird, in a weird, in a way, it's almost weirder. <laughs> 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 ah. How could this be? <laughs> How could this happen, happen to, to me? me? I made a mistake. <laughs> I feel like that has implications. You have a wild imagination. I see. Hmm. Romantic love and familiar love may be nine discernible. Yusuke? Please stop. Yusuke, I know you're an only child, but stop it. Let's face it, everyone who fucking supports the fucking incest chips, <laughs> they're all they're all single children, all of them. They don't get it. They don't have siblings. <laughs> Alright. Ding a ling a ling. <laughs> I feel like those people suddenly turned into us all. <laughs> <laughs> they started like, just going on a nice boat ride, and then they just stopped, and they were like... So, like, they gay? They gay, though. Hey, man, remember that that boat ride we had? That was pretty fucking wild. Haha, <laughs> uh, it sure was funny how that couple thought we were... Or, or those siblings thought we were a couple, right? Uh, big joke, unless... <laughs> You lack love yourself? No! Just keep drawing. Just keep drawing. See, that's the part where you go like... It's like, wait a minute. Oh my god. Siblings. I could just make it about siblings. <laughs> and totally re, re uh, you know, reconceptualize the painting. Yeah. Alright, who wants to talk to me? You know, it's never... It's like you can, you can, it's like you can always change your mind. That's the thing that, that people sometimes forget about art <laughs> and stories and just media. You can always change your mind and yeah. just be like, you know what? It's okay. This used to be a, this thing, and now I'm gonna, it's it's this thing. So, you got whole chips out of your screen now. You yeah. Can replace it like Eventually. someday. The guns are gonna melt. Oh no! <laughs> that was like a weirdly. <laughs> like, I think I know it's like, he's supposed to be like, like, fake menacing, like, that's kind of like, the whole thing, I guess, but it's like, that was like, actually spooky. Like, <laughs> the, the guns, guns are, are gonna, gonna melt. <laughs> Man, I was gonna do this night and then wrap it up, but that's the only person we have to hang out with. Hey, how are our social skills looking? <laughs> We could use some more stats. <laughs> what are our stats? Cafe the White. It's doing some uh, French to English translation uh, for those oh no. us, uh, for those of us out there who don't know how to speak <laughs> French. I think it's supposed to be like based on an author's name, maybe. Hey. I think it's La supposed Black. to be based on the guy that wrote about Arsene Lupin. Who? Our persona. <laughs> Oh, okay. Somewhat close to improving the charm. Definitely close for proficiency. Somewhat closer for kindness. Okay. So here's the thing. We're gonna talk about our social stats before we end it. No! No! Please! 